Blog Talk Radio. And welcome to Friday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Let's Ask the Angels. And this month, May, we're in May already, the intention and focus is going to be on connecting to your spirit. And a little bit more about myself, for those of you who don't know me, um, my name again is Barbara Calvano. I have a practice called B. Calvano Coaching, which you can find out more about um, here on the Internet. I am a life coach, and I also do angel card readings and angel therapy. Um, I'm certified by Doreen Virtue uh, in uh, reading angel cards and with Radley Valentine, and I also have over 30 years of experience of taking courses in communication, creating uh, results here in the New York City area. Um, My degree is in dance performance, and... um, So my background is also as a dancer, performer, also an actor, and a painter. So I have a very creative side to myself. And I'm married to a chiropractor, so I believe in a totally healthy lifestyle. And that's a little bit about me. I created this show because I have a high interest in sharing information with you, my listening audience, on some of the things that I've picked up over the years that have helped me Uh, maintain peace and ease and grace in the midst of things happening in the world. And I am um, not ashamed to say I'm 59 years old, and there are several areas that I've mastered quite well, and there are other areas that I'm still working on. And in the areas of health and relationships, communication, those are areas that I've worked quite well in. I'm still working on my finances, but I'm able to maintain peace regardless of what, where and how they look. So today I, um, I have this show called Let's Ask the Angels. I got into using um, angel cards as a way to uh, look for information. And it's not something that I thought a few years ago that I would be doing, but what I saw was uh, the ability to access information that's not your linear type of information. What I mean by that is most of us kind of know what we need to do and we kind of know why things aren't going the way they are. This actually gives us what I call sideways information, information coming from different directions, a multidimensional, I could say actually, that is very gentle, joyful, supportive, and allows what I see as a true integration of your mind, body, and spirit that in the long run I see really has a huge payout in terms of allowing for you to have a foundation for things that really matter to you. And how do I know what matters to you? I'm just thinking of in general what matters to people. You know, what matters is that they are at the end of their lives fulfilled and at peace, happy and able to be with whatever has happened throughout their whole life. So using the angels, and I also like will teach you how to use angel cards so that you can use this resource on a daily basis to consult. Little hints, little suggestions that can truly be powerful or sometimes a little smaller um, empowerment. But regardless, you will be empowered at the tasks that are there for you to do. And 
instead of struggling or really um, being self-critical that things are not moving fast enough or that things aren't happening fast enough, um, you might find a way to have more grace and ease and still manifest all the things that you would like with the assistance of energy, energetic beings, angels. Now, angels, here we don't worship them. We call upon uh, the mess- their messengers of God, your higher power, your source, whatever religion you are. So, or if you have no religion, or if you worship nature, it doesn't matter. It is the all-encompassing source. And connected to the source, God, which I will use to call on my radio show, we have different archangels, and they are messengers. Now, you can actually speak directly to your higher power source, God, or you can use angels. And for the most part of my life, I didn't even know it. I was always calling upon guidance. And there have been synchronicities, things that seemed like they were miracles, or, you know, what I noticed was like an uh, uh, an up and down, a kind of like a, I want to call it like a path when things would happen and not happen. And what I also noticed is that even if I had great radical results or these huge results, sometimes I wasn't even happy. So in the end, what I'm looking, what I saw was what was more important for people is to learn how to be happy, peaceful, regardless of what's going on in your life. And therefore, you have more clarity, you're breathing better, you feel good, and you're more apt to make better choices. So I uh, started using angel cards a couple of years ago, and when I went through a trial period of um, actually a year ago, when I had a test, a mammogram test, and I found out that I might have had cancer. And what I saw was that in the three weeks between the time I found out that I had a suspicious x-ray to the end, three weeks later, I was able to maintain quite a peaceful calm. And, and I'm really grateful that I found out I didn't have it, but I was also able to see that when I was in the waiting room with other women, all we were all in our white robes and we were all waiting for the different um, uh, diagnosis and answers to our questions, there were women there who have, um, were in remission, who also had the cancer, cancer had returned, all in different states along the way. And you could feel the fear. You could watch the behavior of people in the, in the waiting area, all the different types of behavior. We all do when we're really, really nervous and we're really scared. And one of the things I had learned over the years is that whatever you think the thoughts that you have can actually make your body's immune system lower. And I experience this a lot with myself, but also in taking care of my animals. I have the cats, and through different phases of their health and um, getting ill, I could see that how I was being in the household, the energy was also affecting these animals. So I really began to see, with the help of a mystic healer that I was studying with, the direct correlation between your thoughts and your health. And then I also could see the direct correlation with your thoughts and what you would manifest in the world. And so working with the angels and angel cards, which are tools, these are tools like they've been around for thousands of years, cards, stones, sticks, divination tools. And how they work is the law of attraction. Your energy is particular and unique to you. And each and every one of us has our own energy. And when we work with the cards, we clear the deck, we pose the question for ourselves or for another, we pray for guidance that it's clear, direct, succinct. We also pray for protection from any lower energies because we can only, we all know that there are different energies in the world, and we can see them happening in the news. So we want to be protected by that and not to allow any fear into ourselves, but just to know that we are in a safe, gentle, nurturing moment environment when we do our reading. 
And that's what I do for my clients, and that's what I do for my listening audience. And that's what I'll do a little bit later in the show. I see I have one person holding right now, and I'll definitely do a a reading for you. So each week I do a, a reading for the week. And depending on the reading, I will have it, um, it, I choose a particular deck. And this week I chose, I was guided to choose a deck from the Archangel's Oracle cards. And these are beautiful card decks from Doreen Virtue, which um, myself also a painter, I just love the images. So for the reading for this week, for... Today's Friday. For Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the first card says outdoors. And outdoors, we have Archangel Jophiel. And she says, go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature to relieve your stress and gain new and creative ideas. And what a perfect time it is. Right now in the spring, it's getting a little warmer here in the Northeast. But get outside. And do whatever you can to get outside. Even if you work on the weekend, find a way to really be with this blossoming time of year. And if you have allergies, which a lot of people do, there are some really healthy ways for you to curb them without overly medicating yourself because you really want to be attuned and fully present. You can take a grapeseed extract or a product called OPC3, which actually... Uh, it impacts your inflammation, and therefore you don't have all that irritation in your body. So get outdoors is the first message. And Jophiel is holding a rose. The roses aren't quite blooming yet, but it's really a time to connect with nature because that's where nature will clear out any of your lower energies. And what, what do I mean by lower energies? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Anxiety, stress, anxiety, stress, anger. Frustration, being in nature, can help you detox that. And the second card, which goes for um, Monday, Tuesday, is you know what to do. And this card has Archangel Uriel. And Uriel is uh, an archangel that his name is God of uh, Messenger of Light. And he will light the way for you can call upon him to do that. You actually can ask Uriel to send a beam of light from above your head to you and light the way for those that you want to find you, employers, clients, relationships. You can do that. And here Uriel says, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. And so here the message I'm really picking up on is act without delay. You know what to do. Go ahead and do it. And learning to trust that feeling in your gut is just so powerful. And one of the ways that I practice it ongoingly three to four times a week is taking a yoga class. Because in a yoga, you really do con- connect your mind to your body. And you really do get... Um, an ability as you move up, up a certain part of your body, a quarter of an inch or half an inch, breathing in, you know, focusing, focusing, breathing, you are creating new neural pathways for yourself. And no matter what age you are, you can change these pathways. And they allow for you to be present, clear, you think better, you feel better, and oftentimes you make you take actions more because you have more energy. And then the third card for the week, which will be for Thursday, Friday, is Indigo and Crystal Children. And here we have Archangel Metatron. And Metatron is an incredible archangel and here he, he looks after Indigo and Crystal Children. And Indigo um they don't necessarily have to be young. You can be an indigo and be in your 50s like me or in your 60s as someone who really is committed to making a difference. And it could be in any aspect of life. It could be in your work area, in your church, in your community. It could be in the environment. It could be um, in the arts. 
It could be any area of your life you're so passionate about and you know that it's part of your life purpose. And crystal children are the newest babies that are being born right now. And here Metatron is saying that you have a bond with children. And in particular, you can help children who are sensitive. And what I'm hearing here is the message of that many of you who are indigos, people who are passionate about creating, uh, uh, making a difference while you're living here on the planet, that you also need to take care of yourself as a sensitive being so that your radar can pick up on which way to go, what to do, who, who to trust, who not to trust, and how to navigate on your projects. And this is a different way in creating results. This is really about your intuition, really um, uh, accessing your, your psychic abilities, all of them, your ability to see, hear, feel, think, that goes beyond the normal learning something and then rehashing the same thing out. This is really about almost a place of, of I'm going to call it invisible. It's sometimes a place of nothingness, but it gives you highest creativity and the highest connection. So here it is, the message for the week. Get outdoors. Get some fresh air. Get some oxygen into your body. Allow the nature to just um, take away any lower energies that are in you. Here that we're in May, some people start thinking that about June, half of year gone already, to 2013. What have I done? Am I ever going to get started on those things that I talked about in January? Here it says, breathe. You know what to do. Take an action. A little action sparks the beginning of the next one and the next one. Bite off a little bit. You don't have to do it all at one time. But know that it's time to act without delay and to take care of yourself as you are an example for the little children who watch you. They do watch you. They watch your energy. They feel your energy. And they learn from you. And watch them as you can learn a lot from these crystal children. So that's the message for the week. And before I take the listener calls, I do want to, I've been referring a lot to this wonderful book called You Can Heal Your Life by Louise L. Hay. And I'm just so clear that I manifested so many things. As I was taking those courses uh, in human potential development and all that, it was a graceful way to remind me that affirmations are really powerful. Because even if you're sitting in a course and you're learning all this information of, of how to break through your, your um, obstacles and your barriers, there is something to be said is observe your thoughts in your head because what you're thinking is what you're manifesting. And in her book, she really takes that apart. And here in May, when we really want to get into connecting, with, connecting to your spirit. Your spirit is your energy. It's your divine connection. It's your, your access to um, what I call the fuel, being fueled by the universe. It's your oxygen. And we all are different. We all have different ways to doing that. And here it talks about, on a daily basis, expressing your gratitude writing affirmations, sitting in meditation, even if it's for two minutes. It doesn't have to be 30, 60, or 90, or two hours, and you don't necessarily have to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning, though that's a very good time to meditate. It could be any time. Um, enjoying exercise. Finding that connection in exercise where you enjoy it. For some of us, we, we remember it because as a child we loved playing. Well, for those of you who don't like to exercise, it's, it's possible. It totally is to rekindle that time when you were a little kid and you just loved recess. You could find that. Practicing good nutrition. Practicing good nutrition affects your brain. And when your brain is working right, Lord, your whole life is better. And some of us have more sensitivities than others. I personally cannot tolerate uh, coffee anymore. Um, I, it makes me feel ill and too jittery. Any caffeine or even alcohol, for me, works as a depressant. So you'll find what works for you. Some cannot tolerate dairy, wheat, gluten, 
sugar, white sugar especially, you want to find out what practicing good nutrition means to you. And I, how I say this is practicing because you're not going to be perfect. And Lord knows you don't want to be around people who are like crit- criticizing you that you aren't perfect with doing it correctly. Find your way. And then doing affirmations aloud or even singing your affirmations. You might even enjoy certain songs because of their positive values. And also, you know, t- take a look at certain songs that you might hear that really you're, you're, you'll notice that your body immediately feels disconnected to your spirit. And you know what I'm talking about. As you become more sensitive or attuned, you'll, you'll notice these things. Take time for relaxation exercises. Time. Who has enough time? Well, you can find this time in little bits and pieces. Perhaps you will take yoga classes or you, your exercise will be long walks or even short walks, um, jogging, running, or even at the gym. If you're at the gym, watch what you notice. Watch what you're thinking because you don't want to back, um, backtrack yourself by overly criticizing yourself, by judging and comparing yourself to other people. So you really want to observe your thoughts. So therefore, use visualization, mental imagery, and do some positive reading and study. So here, this fabulous book that I highly recommend to everyone, You Can Heal Your Life by Louise L. Hay. I I do um, give credit to this book for me in finding my husband, who I've been married for 23 years, and also giving me the courage to just continue to go after creative types of work. I'm not your corporate office worker. I, I paint, I write, I dance, I do acting, and uh, here I also do my radio show, communicating. So here's a wonderful small piece that I'd love for you to hear before I get on to the uh, readings for the listeners. And it's from her chapter on relationships because I'm sensing that many of you are thinking about that. In the infinity of life where I am, all is perfect, whole, and complete. I live in harmony and balance with everyone I know. Deep at the center of my being, There is an infinite well of love. I now allow this love to flow to the surface. It fills my heart, my body, my mind, my consciousness, my very being, and radiates out from me in all directions and returns to me multiplied. The more love I use and give, the more I have to give. The supply is endless. The use of love makes me feel good. It is an expression of my inner joy. I love myself. Therefore, I take loving care of my body. I lovingly feed it nourishing foods and beverages. I lovingly groom it and dress it. And my body lovingly responds to me with vibrant health and energy. I love myself. Therefore, I provide for myself a comfortable home, one that fills all my needs and is a pleasure to be in. I fill the rooms with the vibration of love so that all who enter, myself included, will feel this love and be nourished by it. I love myself. Therefore, I work at a job I truly enjoy doing one that uses my creative talents and abilities, working with and for people I love and who love me and earning a good income. I love myself. Therefore, I behave and I think in a loving way to all people, for I know that that which I give out returns to me multiplied. I only attract loving people in my world for they are a mirror of what I am. I love myself, and therefore I forgive and totally release the past and all past experiences, and I am free. I love myself, therefore I live totally in the now, experiencing each moment as good 
and knowing that my future is bright and joyous and secure. For I am a beloved child of the universe, and the universe lovingly takes care of me now and forevermore. All is well in my world. And once again, this is from You Can Heal Your Life by Louise L. Hay. Fabulous, fabulous book. Get your copy soon. Now, at this time, I'm going to take a listener call, area code 253. Let me just take a sip of water. And find out what question she has today. Hi. Hello there. Hi. Um, hi, my name's Holly from the Seattle area. Hi, Holly. Hi. Hi. Great. Do you like so, a direct question or a message you, from Holly. Spirit? It's up oh, to I just you. like a message from Spirit. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So, Holly, just let me just. Take a moment and choose a deck for you. Okay. 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 That's where my hands went. I'm just going to shuffle the cards and clear the okay. deck for you. Okay. So this is a general question of what the angels have for you today. Yes. For guidance. Okay. So, Holly, I was guided to choose the three cards. The first card, and this is from the Messages from Your Angels Oracle Cards deck um, by Doreen Virtue. And the first Mm -hmm. card is from Sonia, the angel Sonia. And she says, I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. Mm -hmm. I am happy at peace, and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. Aww. So we're getting that message there. So this and the second card says it's from Archangel Raphael. And he says, I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. That's what I am. Else. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> and the third card is from Angel Opal. And she says, your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. And whether Mm. you have real children or you have children that are near you, other people's children or even animals Mm -hmm. and pets, that's what I'm picking up on. Um, Okay. Yeah. So it's a real loving message. You know, sometimes, you know, if we get a card from the first card was, you know, from a deceased loved one, but we know that we have loved ones that have moved on, and it's a great Uh message that someone you've been thinking about is at peace. That's my brother. Oh, yeah, so that is the message from Sonia, and then the second message from Raphael is that you you indeed are a healer. Yes, um, I've been told that before. Yeah, so it's, that's the prominent card in the middle. And Archangel Raphael is the archangel who is the healing. He's the healing angel that you can call upon at any time and visualize emerald green light surrounding mm-hmm. yourself or anyone that you would like to heal. And he can also help you with your healing career. Ooh. He can ask to be near you and to give you messages, yes. Yeah. And then Opal again, your ch- children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. So that is your heavenly message from today. And Thank the one you. That picking up is that you are a healer. So any, like in the weekly reading I said, anything that you're thinking, go ahead and act upon it. Go ahead and take your actions. Oh, okay. You no, know, the, you know, the angels are not going to do it for us, but they'll definitely say, the green light is on, <laughs> you know, go. <laughs> and even sometimes we, we go forth even if we um, have a little fear because if we waited for the fear to go away, um, you know, it might not ever happen, <laughs> you know. So we need yeah. to 
with courage take some action. Yeah. Okay. That's great. So, so thank you, Holly, for calling in today. All right. Thank you. Have a beautiful day. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. The next caller is uh, area code 678. Hello. Hello there. What is your name? Hi. Thank you so much for taking my call. Yes. Do you have a question Hi. today Hi. you would Hi. like? Yeah, just an angel reading. Okay, very good. So like a general reading, what the angels will have for yes. you today. Okay. So what is yes. your name? My name is Cyril. What is your name? Cyril. Jiru? Cyril, like Syria? Oh, Syria. Cyril. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Yes. Okay. So, Cyril, let me just have the question for you. Hold on. I'm just shuffling the cards. And, uh, okay. Okay, so um, I'm using the same deck that I used, and I cleared it, the Messages messages from Your Angels Oracle Cards deck. And the three cards that I was guided to pick, the first one is from Angel Yvonne, and it says, You have a special bond with animals, and your pets on earth and in heaven are watched over by angels. So that's the first card. And the second card says, it's from Angel Teresa. It says, time out. You've been so busy taking care of everybody else's needs, and now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. So that's the second Mm -hmm. message. And the third is from Ariel. And Ariel says, new psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. So that is your combined message for today, that you do have a special bond with animals. I don't know if you do or not, you know, if you had any pets that had passed on, but you, there's a, you have a love. You have a real love and you care for living things and that you've been really spending a lot of time taking care of everybody else, and that you're a caring person, but now's the time to learn how to take care of yourself also, to stop okay. and to do that. And then the third is like that now is a good time for you to open yourself up, to allow your spiritual gifts, um, meditation, prayer. You can get a deck of angel cards yourself at any, um, you can order them online or go to a bookstore. There there could be many decks. Find one that you you feel drawn to. And using angel cards are a wonderful way to help you develop your psychic abilities. Um, Mm -hmm. I only say it by practice. You'll find this whole new experience. And also by detoxifying your body, making your body like a clean vessel so that messages can come to you clearly. You know that when we clog ourselves up, we can't hear as well. So finding out what works for you to stay in balance by taking care of yourself, and then you will develop your own spiritual awakenings and psychic abilities at this time. Does that make any sense? Oh, okay. Okay? Yes. Okay. Okay, Thank you so much um, for the messages. Oh, you're welcome, Cyril. Have a wonderful weekend. You too. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Okay. The next caller is on area code 770. Hello. Wow. Hello there. Hi. I'm lucky. Hi I just there. Call. Hi. Wow. Hi. How are you? What is, I'm doing great. What is your name? My name is Maddie. Hi, Maddie. Make, hi. Can I ask anything? Sure. 
sure. You can ask a question um, in any for any area of your life, or you have, want a general question for you. It's up for you. It's totally up. Well, to you. I am I am expecting some money. Someone owe me money, and it's a uh-huh. large sum. And mm-hmm. um, it's one of those deals where you invest, uh, and you get so much back. And I was hoping it would come through before the year is over. Do you see that happening? Okay. Well, let's ask. Let's ask okay. a question about that, okay? Now, I'm using a deck. Uh, I have about I, don't know, I have about 20 decks here, and I'm drawn to choose a special deck that asks, it's great for questions about manifestation, okay? And this is the mermaids and dolphins, believe it or not. Mermaids have special powers, and so do dolphins, and uh, I'm guided to use this deck. So, Maddie, okay. for one second, I'm just going to shuffle the cards, and we'll see what the angels have to say to you in regards to this situation. Okay, so the three cards, it's quite interesting. The three, they're always interesting, so anyway, <laughs> the first card, they're always interesting. Here we have the first card I was guided to choose says consult an expert. So it says more information is needed. Contact someone with expertise to, in this area. So let's see how all the other cards um, pan out with this card. So the first card is saying that you might have to consult an expert if there's okay. something in, in this that you may not. There may be a question that has not been answered that you may need um, an expert's advice on. Mm-hmm. The second card says watch your thoughts. So right now it says it's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. Okay. So. If you have any fear that it might not happen, that can actually get, add energy, which can attract more energy, and then before you know it, you have mass. So you really want to watch your thoughts and be peaceful about this situation. Okay. Well, I have been peaceful. So it's been years, and uh, I um, the last time I spoke with the guy, it gave me a very good update, and I thought, oh, that sounds wonderful. Okay. Oh, good. So, well, uh, that's why I was yeah. just, you know. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so, so you know that. Been, Very good. Okay. And the third card says, blessed change. It says, a major life change brings you great blessings. So what I see is, what I see here, according to the guidance, is that in, it looks indeed that it's going to happen. It's okay. a blessed change. A major life okay. change brings you great blessings. So either this is going to come through exactly as you had hoped or another one will happen. So you're going to okay. have a major life change brings you great blessings. Oh, so, great. I hope it's love. I hope it's love, yeah. too. Well, that's uh, what I actually I see here. Question? Well, I want to see. When it said, when you know, when you asked about the money, I actually saw in this card it was more about, like, relationship <laughs> because – you see a beautiful mermaid just so, like, relaxed, and she you could tell she's really in love, and it looks like the life change that I actually felt was more about a relationship change and a blessed one. Oh. So so either way, you're going to be happy. You're going to oh, be happy. I'm so but, happy to hear that. So, <laughs> you know, watch your not, thoughts. Uh, I mean, watch my thoughts. Yeah. Really watch your well, thoughts. Well, I am See, going to see someone next week for the first time and um, a long, long time. Actually, the story is that um, he contacted me last year in August, and okay. I don't. Um, and we went to high school together, but okay. he remembers me well, but I don't remember him. But that's okay. But he uh-huh. didn't say anything to me because he said he was a country boy and he didn't know what to say. But anyway, uh-huh. we've been talking, talking two or three times a week. And I'm going to see him for the first time next week. And I was just curious to know, uh, but on this, 
I was just curious to know how it was going to go mm-hmm. because I am anticipating it going nicely, and I guess that's my thoughts is going to lead, you know, think positive. Mm-hmm. That's what I get. Mhm. Well, yeah. So you want to keep, you want to watch your thoughts. This card, okay. the, the reading does say it's a blessed change. A major life change brings you great blessings. Okay. And, and then that first card says consult an expert. So that would be um, needing, you know, also the expert could be consulting me today because you're, you're, you know, you're asking me. But also, if there's anything in that financial matter that you need more information on that if you have a tiniest feeling about it then then you do then that means you want to consult an expert other than that watch your thoughts and be prepared as a major life change brings you great blessings and so this be what i'm also yeah. sensing is that if your heart is open right now and it, when i speak with you i really get that your heart is open it's, you know, whatever work it you've been doing on yourself you're very open so if this one does not work out the gentleman know that um, it's the next one will be very soon. Not just, I'm not putting a damper on this, but I'm saying that your heart is really open to having good things happen. And um, just just stay open, you know. I will. Be, I definitely yeah, will. Stay open. Yeah. I will. So. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Is it Doreen? Oh no, uh, Doreen is my mentor. She's the one who I I um I studied with. My name is Barbara oh, Calvano. Yeah, I'm Barbara. And you can um yeah, you can learn more about Doreen at her website. Her website is angeltherapy.com and mine is B Calvano Coaching, which is on the Blog Talk Radio face page there. So, okay. thank you very much. I will keep that in mind and I won't forget and um okay. I will keep this heart open because I am ready. <laughs> Very good. It's been a long yeah. Time and I'm ready. It's been a long time since I've been divorced and I'm ready for stuff. I'm, I'm well, ready when for I love. saw that card, that's what I saw. It was like she's asking about money, but I see a relationship. <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> okay. You know. Yeah, a very, oh, very relaxed and happy mermaid here on this card. It's, okay. Yeah. 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 And good for you for keep opening your heart because that's how it happens, you know, when you do the work to open your heart and then it happens, you know. And, right, um, right. Right. Yep. Well, thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome, Maddie. And you can jo- you can uh, like me on Facebook if you l- like to get more information, things that are happening, newsletters. Just uh, check out my page there. I mean, um... Let me hold on for a second. You have a minute? I know you're on sure. radio. Um, <laughs> I, I want to jot this down. So, well, I'm glad. I'm happy I called. I rambled, rambled, rambled. Um, uh-huh. Just um, on the internet, finish up some work and decide I browse a little bit. <laughs> okay. What what is it? Um, D, as in Barbara Calvano. C A L V A N O. A B C A L. Uh huh. V is in Victor. Uh-huh. A N O. Coaching dot com. And all okay. my information is on that. Uh huh. Okay. And you said you're in North Carolina. No, I'm in New York City. Oh, New York. Oh. Yeah, I'm. Oh. I'm. I'm calling from New York. Yeah. Okay, you're in New York. I see. Okay. All yeah. right. Is it cold up there? It is about 70 degrees actually today, so it's nice, but it's still getting cooler in the uh, low 50s at night, but it's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. That 70 is nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, you're in my favorite city. <laughs> yep. So yeah. have a great weekend and um uh, you know, maybe I'll hear you from you next week. I'm here every day, every Friday at four o'clock. Okay, I, I remember that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. I have a great time. weekend. Okay, I will. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay, now I'm going to area code five zero four. Hi, this is Debbie from Louisiana. Hi, Debbie. It's good to hear from you. <laughs> <laughs> 
nice to hear from you. I mean, nice to talk to you. Um, I was wondering, I, I mean, I want a new job and I have questions or anything, but I feel like there's something that the angels want to tell me because I'm having some electronic issues in my house. Okay. So I'm mm-hmm. thinking they're trying to get a message to me that I'm not picking up on. Um, okay, so you're asking about the electronic issues going on in your house or are you asking about, well, what was the first thing you said, something more about work? Yeah, I called, I called uh, you know, I'm like the other caller. I want to know if I'm going to get a new job soon or more money soon, but then I'm thinking maybe uh, the angels are trying to tell me something or a passed on relative and I'm not getting a message that I'm maybe blocked. Oh, Okay. Either one. I just these two questions. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, because you're already very aware that um, about energy. You're you're very yeah. aware of your own energy, you know, and um, and yes, you could be getting um, a little um, a nudge if electronic things are are not working well, but also if there's an astrological things that. Um, you also physically could be putting out a lot of energy from your own body now if you've been working on yourself and opening yourself yeah. up psychic, psychically. Like right now, I can't wear watches. They they, they stop on me. They, oh, um, they, they, they break, <laughs> you know, so I don't wear watches that anymore. That happens, too. I never thought about that. Watches will go yeah, slow yeah. or fast, either yeah, or. Yes, your energy is shifting, that. And, um, and yeah. So that so what, let's see about so what I a general a question about your work in well, a track I was got cut down at work so that's okay. why I've been like putting dealers out and I'm really having a difficult time as far as finances. Okay. And that's why I'm bothering the electronics okay. and just got it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you wanna know if there's anything that you're doing that may be getting in the way of you attracting finances right now? Yes, yes. Yeah. Thank you for putting I'm so gentle. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's okay. Like what I say what what message is there for you in regards to flow and manifesting right now? Okay. Thank you. Okay. And You know, one could use, like, the same deck for every one of these, but what's great is Doreen actually has different decks that have special uh, energies for healing or relationships, romance, or even manifesting. And I was guided to choose the messages from, uh, the magical messages from the fairies, because actually fairies, people okay. don't know. Yeah, fairies are tiny earth angels that are around nature a lot and the environment and they can help us uh, attract abundance so hold on a second okay okay you know did you tell me your name Debbie. Okay, Debbie. I'm sorry if I lost it there. So, Debbie, the first card that I was guided to choose is debt paid off. And it says the old weight and habit of debt is lifted from you and your life. So, we have debt, debt paid off. The second card is autumn. And it says in the fall season, which is now we're in May. Oh, no. And fall, the fall season, everything comes together, and you reap wonderful harvest of abundance. And then the third card says spiritual teacher, and it says your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality. So there's a combined message here. What what I see is not to worry. That, that your debt will be paid off and the habit of debting is going to be completed. And then the autumn, you know, so the autumn, you know, don't, I wouldn't worry, like, don't get in the worry because as with the last caller, watch your thoughts. You know, stay peaceful, okay. stay open, stay open. Um, 
in the fall season, everything comes together. Though, you know, what we're, it's not going to happen like, boom, you know, one day. Between May right. and, and September 21st, which is the first day of fall, right? That's only several months. You know, um, it says you're going to reap wonderful harvests of abundance. So what I'm picking up is if there's anything that's in your mind's eye, like in my weekly reading, that you need to act upon right now. If it's something that you were going to write, something you were going to create, now's the time to do it. Act on it. You know, perhaps while you're putting the feelers out for your work, you could still act upon something that's really deep inside of you that makes you so happy. You know, that really okay. has you feel passionate. And here it says, spiritual teacher. Your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality. And that can take so many different forms. You know, yeah. it could it could be body work, it could be creative artwork, it could be music, it could be hands on, it could be teaching, writing, you know, it could be it could be any art form, literally. You know. But that you okay. have an ability to do that. And if you've been hesitating, sometimes you don't get what you want because the universe is saying, I've got something better for you. I've got something that's really in alignment to your purpose, your true life's purpose, not the one you've just been surviving with. And we all need to pay our bills because, you know, I've done all kinds of jobs, uh, you know, to pay my bills until one day I realized, oh, you know, maybe my life, you know, Anyway, so those jobs stopped coming, and I realized it's because I really didn't want them. You know, so you yeah. may be wanting something new and different. And, it, and what we're getting from this reading is have the courage, have the courage to take a look at that right. and research it, take some actions on it, you know. And, and we still need to pay our bills. Like we may have to take a job right. that we don't love, but you're in a position right now where – my sense is, is that you're being, the universe is saying, okay, now it's time. Like with the electronic things happening in your house also, it's like your energy has become big. Your energy is really big right now. And yeah. whatever you've done to, to work on yourself, to open yourself up, um, it, it's, it's, it's vibrating differently. So when you do the practices, you know, for the month of May, it's called Connecting to Your Spirit, connecting with your spirit, daily mindful okay. practice. We're going to integrate more about what what is your life purpose? What do you just are so passionate about that you know that you care so deeply about that would make a difference for yourself and others? Now's the time. Now's the time. Thank thank you. I've kind of felt that message myself. It's just so scary when you can't even pay rent. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. it, it it's taking away from that he, like yeah. energy and healing and I I love all that. But yeah. um it's a lot. I mean, it's just, you know, it's it's still right there, you know, all your bills. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, one of the most powerful things we can do and this if you if you could uh, uh, were able to purchase one book, I would get Louise L. Hayes' book. Unless you have it already, you know I do. her. Aff- okay, open it up again and do the affirmations. Just to really get clear that everything. It's up to you in your mind's eye and your thought pattern to say how it's going to go. Okay. Be peaceful. Find ways to be peaceful. If you need to get off caffeine or anything that you put in your body that makes you jittery or more like more nervous, cut it out. Now yeah, the just time. Coffee. Yeah. Coffee. Yeah. And you will find yourself more peaceful and more open to courage. You know, it is such a simple thing to do, but the hardest thing to do for a lot of people. Um, you can yeah. ask Archangel Raphael to help you with any detoxing, any substances or any, if it's sugar, if it's alcohol or coffee, anything that makes you nervous or depressed. That is your life energy. And your energy needs to be clear and vital right now. And what you are learning to do for yourself right now, Debbie, you're going to be able to teach someone else. Okay. 
So this is kind of like your study hall right now. You're, as you do uh, practice this, you will have the foundation to pass this on to someone else. Because believe me, this is probably the most valuable information one could give to another human being. How to tap into their own energy of peace. Okay. Right. And there are other blog talk radio shows. There are also shows on One Two Radio that have phenomenal healers and psychics and people to support you. That it's free if your computer's working. You know, you can use that. So right. A lot, a lot of resources right now. A lot of support from the universe. Or, or whether it's one deck of angel cards so that you can get in touch with your angels more. You know. And on some yeah. of my other shows, I talk about how to cut your cords of fear. I don't. Do you know how to do that? Uh, yeah, I do cut cords. Okay. Um, I just, I just wish it wasn't so ambiguous. You know, it's like, oh, you're, you're, you're a healer, and it's all gonna. It's just because, well, you know the reasons. But I, 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 I need to start meditating. I know I do. I don't meditate. I, just, I don't drink alcohol because it does. It depresses me. It's awful. Yeah. I just coffee is starting to give me jitters, which it didn't before. Exactly. So you're, you're cut out gluten. I'm, I've done a lot already, um, well, but it, I understand what you mean. Yeah, it really is a um, mission, and it's a practice that a lot of people don't have the courage to do, and a lot of not everyone is a light worker. Right. Not everyone is. Some of them are very successful working their big six-figure jobs and you know, kicking back the caffeine and alcohol, you know, and and that's part of their life purpose, to keep those wheels moving on Wall Street or something, you know. But we, some of us, you can get support on Doreen Virtue's official fan page on Facebook and meet other light workers and um, know that you're not alone in this. I'm going to have okay. to wrap up the show. I have a, just a couple more minutes, but... The thing is to know that um, you're connected to me and you can meet other people on the Internet. Um, Through Doreen Virtue, there's a lot of very positive uh, men and women who are at all different points in their development as spiritual teachers. You know, they all are. I'm going to do everything you said, but do you see that finances do get a little better? Yeah, well, it says the first card, it says, yeah, debt gets paid off. The old weight okay. and the habit of debt is lifted from you, right? And in okay. the fall, right. in the autumn, it says in the autumn everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvests of abundance. You know, right. and, that, and to accept your power. You know, part of the card of being a spiritual teacher is accepting that you are powerful. So if you have any thoughts that you are a victim or any thoughts that you are not going to make it, you need to release those. You know, there are ways to release those thoughts. Just put them in a bubble and, you know, let them go. But on a daily basis, watch your thoughts and okay. take action. Take actions and clear yourself daily. Clear yourself. Cutting cords okay. and um, other techniques that I've talked about in my other shows that they're on the Blog Talk Radio archives, I've done some um, clearing techniques vacuuming okay. and uh, cutting cords and surrounding yourself. Oh, I, I'm picking up, Keep stay away from um, a, try a what? to shield, shield yourself from negativity. Try to shield yourself, okay. you know, put yourself the cobalt blue light around you before you go out and um, okay. make sure you do that every 12 hours. So there's another thing. As you're opening yourself up real wide, you got to like, be mindful of uh, clearing your energy and protect, shielding your energy from um, okay. attracting negativity and uh, people who may be naysayers or, you know, negative, negativity. Yeah, and, there's a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. You know, so, yeah. Listen, I, 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 used, yeah, I used to work on Law and Order as an actor. And I can't watch oh. the show anymore. You know, I, I, I've, I've done acting in New York here, and there's just certain shows and movies. It's like I'm sorry, I just, I just, you know, I know you're all acting, but it's, it's not coming that way into my body. <laughs> so oh, okay. So yeah. I used to work in news, so I can't watch the news either. <laughs> okay. So you know, yeah. So 
thank you very much. I think it's gonna thank you so much. About a minute. Yeah. So you can Same. also like you can like me on Facebook on uh, B Cal no Coast. On uh, you can get the information on the blog talk page, or um, okay. yeah, and um, yeah, see the resources that Doreen Virtue has. Any of her books are fabulous that resonate toward you, for you. You know that's how you Thank begin. You. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome, Debbie. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, everyone. You too. Okay, talk to you later. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, so that was our show for today, Friday, May 3rd. And have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Do something fabulous. Go outside, be in nature, and um, love yourself. Just love yourself. Don't uh, feel like it's a selfish act. Um, You want to attract love? Love yourself first. Have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you next week, Friday at 4 o'clock.